Storm Tracker weather starts now with meteorologist Eric Johnson. Welcome back. Well, today was another below average day. We made it up to 36 in Great Falls, 34 in Helena. But we did kind of see the effects of that ridge of high pressure. We had sunny skies throughout much of the day. And we are currently looking at the Great Falls Clinic ICAM temperature of 33 degrees. We have a southwesterly breeze that is going to be continuing throughout the next several days, really through Wednesday. We have the potential for some of those gusts getting up to 40 miles per hour throughout central Montana. Now we are seeing a few clouds starting to work in, especially if you're along the high line. Places like Cut Bank, you are looking at some snow showers, some very light snow showers moving in. But you will definitely see some of that flurry activity over the next couple of hours. Now, as I mentioned, we have started to see the uh, less in the way of cloud cover, but we're finally seeing the effects of the ridge of high pressure with our temperatures. We've seen about a 10 to 15 degree increase, even 25 degree increase over in Lewistown over the last 24 hours. And we'll see that once again as we head into tomorrow. So we'll likely close the month out with a couple more above average days. We've seen several days of below average temperatures, but likely the month as a whole will still finish a little bit below average, a degree or two below average. But as I mentioned, we are going to be dealing with some wind as well the next couple of days. We have a high wind warning for the Rocky Mountain front and a high wind watch for Judith Basin County. That's for high winds Monday into Tuesday. The high wind warning is going to be for tomorrow and Monday. That's where we could be looking at gusts getting up to 80 miles per hour for places like Browning and over into East Glacier. The rest of us just looking at 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts. Again, really through the next couple of days, not really going to let up until at least Wednesday, possibly even uh, staying gusty thereafter. But you can see the Rocky Mountain front is going to be getting the brunt of those winds by uh, Tuesday morning, looking at some of those gusts getting up to 60 miles per hour in Browning. And again, that just continues right into the middle part of the week. Now for the rest of tonight, we'll start to see some snow showers developing in northwestern Montana. And then we will start to see that activity becoming a little bit more widespread throughout western Montana. They're actually going to be seeing a significant uh, round of a couple of storm systems that will bring some rain and mountain snow. We'll get in on some of that as we head towards the end of this week. But as far as precipitation is concerned, it doesn't look like we'll see as much as Western Montana. This is one model showing generally just a tenth to a quarter of an inch across the area. But of course, we can welcome any rain that we can get because we are still looking at those drought conditions. Getting down to 24 tonight in Great Falls, partly cloudy skies. And over in Helena, a little bit cooler. Some of that chilly air from earlier in the week is still trapped in those valleys. So we'll get down to 14 degrees tonight. And as we head throughout the next several days, all of us are going to start to warm up. We're getting up to 50 by Monday and actually in the upper 50s by Tuesday. That'll be the warmest day of the week. And then we'll become cooler and unsettled as we head into the first few days of March. March 1st is on Tuesday. And then as we head towards the end of the week, we're watching a cold front for Thursday. That is going to knock those temperatures back below average into the 30s and also the chance for some snow showers for Friday. And over in Helena, 48 for Monday with mostly cloudy skies. And we'll see the chance of some showers returning Tuesday into Wednesday with those temperatures in the low to mid 50s. But we do start to cool things down as we head towards the end of the week back into the mid 30s. We'll have more news and sports coming up right on the other side of the break.